So I think you've done well, Kelly. Kelly, you worked yourself through it. I wasn't quite sure initially with the, with what I saw with your attitude and everything, whether you were grabbing and bracing. Because the one thing you can't fool is spiritual people. Spiritual people see through things. They see reality for what it is because they're, they don't have an ultimatum to, to um, or a preconceived notion that they lay on people. Spiritual people try to get free of any attachment like that. So they work more in the present moment. So you'll see a lot of these people that made comments. There's some rude people out there, no question. And this site is for all of you, including those that are rude. You will learn to get out of that. Always remember before you speak, is it kind, is it true, and is it necessary? And I always keep that in mind, although sometimes I just ladder fly, but I try to be connected and I try not to be the one that, that speaks. I try to let whoever speaks, meaning, uh, you know, my, as close as I know as the, to the supreme being as I can get. So I, I try to let it use me as a channel, uh, but at the same time I know very much that I'm the, I'm the, I'm the, the reason that I'm here. I mean, I'm the one that has to be aware and channel and know it and, and not just be a nothing. So I have to be the active participant in creation for it to experience itself at, at, at me. And the same with you and, and everything, including plants. So uh, it, you, you've done well, Kelly. I'm, I've done well, and thank you, JG. You see through things, and people know when you're hanging on to something that you don't. That's the beauty of the spiritual people. Sometimes they see things that you don't. So you've accepted that, Kelly, and I like that, that you've accepted the fact that people are seeing things that you're holding on to, and now you're letting go. So from what I can see, it looks pretty good. There's a lot of comments about moles. And, uh, you know, you always see moles growing on people when they have weak adrenal glands. This is a sugar metabolism problem. Lump it all in the fungal family. Whenever you don't metabolize sugars, you'll grow moles on you. That's, that's, that's all there is to it. And this is an adrenal gland issue. And it just comes with it. Uh, but it also is reflective of a lot of candida and fungus in the body. And so you'll always see that. And in time, those people generally have blood sugar problems. Uh, you'll, you'll see that. So you can use Parasite M on a regular basis and they'll fall off. Uh, even warts, even though virals, even these skin tags, they'll all fall off the healthier you. And you notice this is all related to, one, the lymph system, the kidneys and adrenals. It all comes back to that, even though the adrenals are so far reaching in the body in terms of sugar metabolism, mineral utilization, uh, body shape and size. Uh, a lot of stuff in those adrenals, uh, just amazing uh, glands. Someone has said something about black salve, putting black salve on. And someone wrote, where do you get black salve? And uh, I don't know where that is in here, but when I get to it, I'll, I'll make a comment on it. But uh, this is a comment, it's, and somebody used a call tag of like... Uh, FDA or something like that or whatever, you know, the FDA does not like black salve. And that's because the FDA doesn't like anything but corruption, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, for what little we see out of there that's to our benefit, and I admit some of the stuff the FDA comes up with is, is bona fide and, and accurate. They're, 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 they got their, their good side to them. But they also have their bad side. And you're seeing that in California where they were being raided. All these, and this nutraceutical company were raided with 80, 80 armed guys. You know, you keep pushing the American public too long and 80 guys can't do nothing against thousands of people. You know, you keep pushing the people too much and then, then you're going to have a re retaliate. And now, thank God, I, I, I'm actually happy people are standing up, America, in these parks, even though it's about uh, corporate greed and corruption. People don't realize that extends to the oil companies and everywhere else. That's why people can't afford to do anything. But it serves as another, another purpose, and that is to show Americans that we can stand up. All these other countries, look right now, they're standing up whether they're getting killed or not. They're standing up. Because every government that I know of, it, except that maybe uh, New Zealand and a few places, end up getting corrupt. And our government is one of the top corrupt governments in the world. And uh, 
They, they don't care. We have more prisoners in our jails, and, and Fox News always is commenting on this. We have more prisoners in our jails and over drugs. That's a sad thing, you know. We, we're, we're, a, we're a sad country, and we got an FDA going in and raiding people because they're serving raw milk. We're so scared of bacteria, we, we, we run like little children and hide in holes in the ground. Uh, this is all from the medical community and their stupidity. And so we, we've created this monster that is an extension of, of pharmaceutical companies. I, I just, I'm, it's just amazing. It's amazing. So all I can tell you is truth always wins out and that if you work for the FDA or the IRS, quit. Start working for the people. Quit, uh, quit these corrupt uh, uh, people that are breaking the law. It's one thing if you follow the law and the law is uh, 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 accurate. Now there's one here. Um, there's a slip disc in his vertebrae. Um, uh, this is uh, the Manny Market. And uh, let me see, he's uh, 33 years old. And he's been able to get this pain out of the back. Uh, he has insomnia. Uh, so he has back pain which uh, uh, disables him from getting out of bed. Da -da 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 -da. And someone was talking about a machine or something here that they used. Anyway, there's TENS units, there's all kinds of things. I will say this though, remember uh, the kidneys and the lymph. This is the core issue every time, guys. The adrenals, the kidneys, and its effect upon the gigantic lymph system and, of course, the lower back. You can't repair that lower back as long as you're not filtering and you're 33. That tells me you have big-time kidney and adrenal weaknesses. At 33 years old on this planet right now, you can just about gamble and win uh, the lotto that you have kidney and adrenal weaknesses. It's just how much. And the fact that your lower back is already having problems is just confirmation of it, hands down. So this is a lymphatic problem, but we're reaching up into insomnia. Now, we're up here now, but look at how many young people are balding. I'm amazed I walk around and 30-year-old kids are having receding hairlines and balding so they keep their head shaped. Amazing how much is out there. And that means serious problems for the mind, uh, for, for uh, Alzheimer's and dementia in the young people. I mean, real serious stuff. And insomnia, of course, getting into the pineal gland. So again, you always want to go back to the GI tract. You want to go to the kidneys, adrenals. You always want to move those limbs, man. Use some upper circulation. If you use a pineal uh, glandular, it really will help to rest and, uh, and, and start getting that body healthy, man. And you'll do good. Uh, baby cakes. Uh, thanks for all your stuff there. Uh, Joy, thanks for your kickback on that. Uh, I know I've talked with you here. You're a client of ours. I know this, that uh, uh, you, you, you talked about some good stuff here with seizures and things and gave her some good input here. Joy works with animals, guys. She gave you her phone number here, which was really nice. But uh, she's definitely one of the lovely souls, you know. So, uh, but she works with dogs and stuff. Uh, but um, anyway, this black sap. That's just blood root, you know, maybe some pulp, but some blood root. That's all black sap is. Some lady, this was on the news where, she, and this is what, the, you know, the FDA was so up in arms that this, this lady put this black salve on her nose and it took off her nose. It didn't take off her nose, but it put a big hole there, I'm sure. Now, I said this on another video. Had, they, um, had a surgeon remove that cancer on her nose, she probably wouldn't have had her nose and half her face is gone. So what this lady did not understand is, yes, the black salve is going to pull that cancer out of there, but it'll heal up in time. But you have a surgeon take out a tumor, you're going to lose a lot of tissue. If you don't believe me, I've got a lot of pictures here to show you what surgeons have done to people. Not a pretty picture. When they're trying to get a clear margin, anything's up for grabs. So I'm going to tell you, it's, it, what the FDA needs to get with this. These are natural remedies. The black salve is... is uh, Generations old. Generations old. Uh, but nothing wrong with it. I'll tell you this, though. I don't make it. Uh, you can get it. You can order it. They have different names for it. The Indians used it quite a bit. Native Americans had a lot of these type of salves. Uh, so great stuff here. There was a book written on the black salve. I can't remember the author of it, but you could probably Google it. But um, let's say you had a breast tumor and you were going to pull it out with black sap. 
the problem is, is that now that is a port because you didn't fix the cause. And this is going back to allopathic thinking. Allopathic thinking is, okay, so you have a lumpectomy. Well, a, a black salve is like a lumpectomy, except it pulls cancer cells. It can pull from all around that area. It can pull from your shoulder. It doesn't hurt you, and it'll pull that out. But that becomes a port, and it will drain, and it will leak. And it'll do that until your kidneys start filtering or all these wastes are cleaned out of here. So it can be a, quite a while. It can stay open. Other people, it'll heal right up. So it can be either one. It doesn't matter where on the body it is. People pulled warts and moles off with, with black salve for years. Skin, basal cell, easy to correct with black salve. Easier to take care of with black salve than it is with surgery. Because if you notice, most surgeons that take off basal cells, it comes back as squamous. So... What we're, what we're talking about on this YouTube is health, dynamic health. That's our word. The medical doctors can't have that word. And so that's, that's our field. We're about health of the human body. Diseases, they can take them and run with them, have all they want. But you want health of the body, health of the cells, and health of those two fluids. And there's nothing of condition that you can't remedy and you can't find dynamic health with. In a dynamically healthy body, there is no such thing as the word diseases or symptoms uh, other than true vibrancy and health of the body. Um, yeah, let me see here. Yeah, this uh, uh, 303, uh, well said with this uh, to Jackie Doe. Uh, it's a great comment of Kelly. But yeah, great, great comments, guys. You, I love you guys. You're all good. You're so good. I, uh, I'll get caught up here with all these questions with you, and uh, I only have 10 minutes left with you right now, but I, I, you just don't know how much I appreciate all this, and I, I tell you, you're all good God people, and I love you all. I, you guys are calling in. You're, I feel your hearts, your beauty. I just love you all. We had a guy here, uh, uh, his name, new name is uh, Mango uh, uh, Mike, and so, uh, you know, we just love you all, doing well. So keep up the good work, guys. Really think a lot of you guys. Uh, Kathy, uh, was it uh, the acid foods or the thoughts or brought that caused? You're talking about thoughts. Uh, you're talking about Louise Hayes. And, and we've commented, I've commented on this before. Each level has its own karma, its own set of laws, its own set of mechanics, so to speak. I'm really a believer that when you have physical toxicity, you remove it physically. I've had a lot of positive thinkers, and like I said, I think Sai Baba is one of the few that you've seen has a power that could change some things, but in reality, the average uh, positive thinker has no chance. Uh, I don't care how positive you want it to go, it's still a physical obstruction. You can help the symptoms through uh, acupuncture or massage or something like this, but you know, I, I think following the laws at each level will yield you uh, health at each level. And so I can tell you that people have used Louise Hayes' concepts and stuff, and yes, thoughts cause this and this, but there are physical manifestations. There's physical chemistry. You can think positive all you want about dead animals. You can think how good this milk is for me, how positive it is this for me, and you'll probably digest it better, but when it comes to milk, you won't digest it at all, especially pasteurized milk. No one digests pasteurized milk, and very few now, after age two, digest raw milk. That's from the medical doctors, not me. I always thought it was age three. No, the medical doctors say after age two, you can't digest milk. Then why do you promote its use? 